All right, I think they're actually doing yeah, this. Yeah, the TO called, called them out on it. <laughs> but okay, now we're actually getting into it, and All they're right. still sticking with Zelda and Wii Fit Trainer because reasons. They can. <laughs> so let's see, Zelda can reflect a lot of stuff, which will probably come in handy. But other than that, I don't really know how his matchup goes. Basically, we fit trainers just gonna try to like zone or like not necessarily zone, but space with uh, with her tilts. Yep. And like then that. Delta's just gonna try to like close in the gap uh, by applying pressure with either her aerials or with like dins. Yeah. Until she finds an opening where she'll like go for a grab. Yeah, Zelda has some pretty good throws. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, I know. I know. Kami's pretty good at it. Is Pug good at the uh, elevator kills? Uh, I would Zelda? assume so. They're only they're mainly read based. At least the ones he goes for. They like read a spot yeah. dodge or like a, rec a poor recovery. Ooh, Ooh, that was a good shot. See, if only people knew that you could just go and sweep Zelda's uh, up B with the same two frame ledge punish. It's basically the same way you would try to punish Sheiks. Oh, okay. Teleporting characters are really easy to do it against. She's got to hold the hitbox there and yeah. wait for it. Now, what about Zelda's uh, hitbox? Uh, it it'll you'll hit her or? before that happens. Oh, okay. It's like that with all the all the characters who teleport. It's good to know. Ooh, good dodge on the spike. I don't know. I would have just went for it. I wouldn't have snatched the ledge. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, if anything, you would have snatched the ledge anyway if you came down. Yeah, I feel like in this matchup here. It's sort of expected that neither player is going to be super aggressive, so yeah. making an aggressive move is. See, and this is smart. where Zelda kind of can't really do much. Is when she's ha when she has to play catch up. It's really difficult. Yeah. Because then she has to overcommit to stuff, like smash attacks, just to end stocks. Yeah, because her ability to poke isn't that great. Like, yeah. like the fire is, you know, it's it's okay, but there's, there's just a wild amount of ending lag if you miss. Yeah. You're going to put yourself in a really bad situation. I uh, see a good read, but. Yep. See, now, now we fit trainer because of her weight and rage that Zelda has. She's too, oh, okay. she's like, was she was too high to be at like a down throw follow up percentage. Yeah. At least off of a regular jump. Maybe if he double jumped, but then he'd have to commit to it really hard. Yep. Uh, but, that's uh, scary stuff. But, uh. So, Pug, yep. Pug bringing it to uh, his girl Marth there. Marth. Stay and we fit. See, now this match is going to be a lot different. Yeah. It's basically played the same, except Marth has a sword. Like, yeah. So it's bas it's instantly, oh, I have a disjoint here that you have to kind of respect it a lot more than just my leg, which you can trade with. Right. And, and you have to respect, yeah. like, possibly dying at, like, 50% if you get I a mean, good that's, tipper. I mean, that's the main misconception that I think a lot of people give Marth the benefit of the doubt because of the fact that he has a disjoint. It's either they give him the benefit of the doubt and they play a little too scared, or they play too carelessly and they and they, and they forget about hit. that. So Where Marth is Marth is a character who you let swing first. Right. Let him make a mistake. Yeah. And get it and get and, in there. Uh, and see the the way Pug plays is he plays it to to hide that fact. He'll hide the fact that like oh I have to commit, so he'll make you commit, and then he'll punish you for something. Yeah, he's very, uh, he pokes a lot. He'll yeah. run in, forward air, back out. Um, yeah, he doesn't commit for long because, see, see, like, I mean, he knows that his character has lag. So he'll try, to, he'll he'll make sure to, like, reposition him, himself really quickly as soon as he's, like, done hitting you. Right. Whether, dependent on whether you blocked it or you dodged it. If he hit confirms on you, then he'll continue to press on until he feels like what he's doing might put him in a bad situation. At right. which point, he'll back out and he'll and he'll make it seem like a bait. Yeah. Or he'll go for shield breakers. Yep. Yeah, keep the combo going as long as you know it's safe yeah. pretty much. And then at a moment's notice, back out and let them swing first. And it's basically that rinse and repeat wow. of... Uh, that was interesting. It was a smart option to go for the counter, but because the the hoops are disjoint away from Wii Fit Trainer... You had to be right on yeah. top of her. Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't hit, honestly. I think it might have been because he was facing away and she was behind him. It also could, uh, could have been because of the fact that uh, Wii Fit Trainer's hurt box is rather small. Yeah, she's a, she's really in shape. She's pretty thin. Yeah. See now, as like as someone who's like trying to edge guard Marth, what you want to do is you want to get up in his face when he's trying to recover, and 
feel out what's going to happen from there. But see, this is where Pug kind of thrives, is when now Marth has an advantage. Yes, yeah, He doesn't have to worry about it. Like, it doesn't matter to him whether he loses the stock or not, because he Tipper is always a factor that I think in, in the back of people's heads kind of keeps them. Scares kind of keeps, people. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like a same as having a charge it, shot. Yeah, and it's very reassuring for Marth because it, it means Marth can go in as hard as he wants once he takes a stock. And then he knows as soon as he gets, a, as if he loses the stock, it means it makes no difference because he still has a tipper that can potentially kill you yeah. just as early. Totally game, game changer yeah. at any point. Lucina, on the other hand, kind of has to be a little bit more honest with the way she approaches you in a dis when she's at an advantage because she really can't afford to lose that stock. Right. So, but uh, unless Ice Arrow gets like some really hard read. Yeah, he's gonna need. Oh. So, but so I could see Pug cl uh, clutching this out. Oh, uh, that'll do it. Unfortunate that he got scared of, of the potential uh, back air off state. Yeah. If anything, I wouldn't have feared the back air. I would have more so been prepared to tech rather than... Yeah, just go for it and... Yeah, because otherwise you're just dead, which is what we saw. Yeah. So. That, I'm not sure how much he mashed to recover, because it seemed like he went pretty low. And he, yeah. wasn't, in, he wasn't, like, low on the screen either, so I, I don't know. Think he's going to get the frog out? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. See, Greninja would be a wise choice, just because I understand. Like, I know, like, Greninja, ha I would say, has a pretty uh, decent time against P uh, Marth, as far as, like, neutral goes. Yeah. Mainly because his j he can contest in neutral with jab, and Marth really can't do anything but shield grab. And then right. at a far away distance, he has shurikens to, con to yep. uh, say, okay, now you have to approach me, and the right. only thing you can do is really block. Uh, I don't agree. I don't, I don't agree with this. Ice Arrow, just go Greninja. Please, just go Greninja. This is boring to commentate. Uh, who do I have to play? Oh, uh, okie dokie. Well, I guess it's been a pleasure. <laughs> See you, Crafted. It's been a pleasure commentating for the little town and that I had, but I guess I have to go play a match. All right, I'll let you pop out here. All right, so Isaiah just asked me for some quick advice. I told him the forward tilt more. Yeah, I gave the guy who's not my teacher advice. Against my teacher, so I don't hope he's not mad. That means you're the master now. No, it means I'm going against my teacher. I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> oh, I, I was thinking, like, cause I knew Pug like was kind of your teacher, but I was like, oh, I guess yeah. I was too. I, nope, I <laughs> me and I are just uh, buddies. Oh, you gonna spike? Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the spike. All right, so four throw, no follow up. But Pug's pretty good at getting out of stuff. Yeah. I don't think WeFit has anything that's too guaranteed either. I know, like, landing Nair is really good. Like, really, really good. It could like, lead to up smash for kill confirms and stuff. But it's, like, not the easiest thing to land. I don't know how that hit. That was, like, kind of off yeah, the Yeah, I mean, side. it can hit, like, on his feet, pretty much. Yeah. It's got a, it's got a weird hitbox. Oh, oh. oh, nice shield. Yep. Definitely thought Puck, that was Puck game. got a little bit greedy, I guess. Oh, I thought he had the spike. Oh, well, um, the Mamma Mia to grab the ledge. Mamma Mia. When you're almost, like, magnet hands to the max, that's the Mamma Mia. Wait, why? Because first time it happened with me and a friend, he was like, Mamma Mia. Mia. Yep. And now it's just, that's what it is. Oh. Oh, nice tech. I thought, uh, I figured Pug was going to go for a spike on that, but I guess going. Oh. oh. Speaking of which. Jeez Louise. Instead of that. I see it was so good. Look at I see just laughing. looking back at us, just <laughs> having a great time. Yeah, I see might lose this because he's so happy right now. Pug's, Pug's got a little, uh, Pug's a little smug. A little right serious right now. He's taking this. Very seriously, as he should, because it's winner's semis. And forward throw. Uh, wait, would up throw have killed? Maybe. She's kind of light. Yeah. And his up throw is pretty intense. Yeah. Right now, it'll definitely kill. If, if we see a grab, up throw. Oh, I thought he... Okay. Yeah. It, it looked like that for a second. Ooh, nice decision going for the ledge. If he went on stage, that definitely that down smash would have killed him. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, landing there. Yeah. But he missed the back air after. Up air, that'll do that. Yeah, I think forward air would have been better than back air, but Pug, yeah, not, Ooh, too, not too far behind. Yeah, Ice Arrow got a little, a little too risky with that. I don't think he saw that 
Pug could just easily get behind him and do that side view like he did. Now Pug has stage control. Yeah. If he hadn't gone out for that, I think Ice Arrow would still have stage Ooh. control at yeah. this point. Ice Arrow rolled past the Dancing Blade, too. I don't think Pug thought he would uh, be able to do that. Nice job recovering high. Going for the yep. mix-up. Yeah. I think that was a mix-up on Pug. He's pretty yeah. much always recovered low this game. Yeah, and uh, Ice Arrow read it low. He uh, tried to do the side B down low. Tipper up and not going to do it. Oh, that was interesting. They didn't go yeah. for the up air and just uh, did the up smash or the yeah, it was up smash. Yeah. No, for, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. So oh yeah. Hours ago. All right. I think he meant to jump with that forwarder. Oh. That would have done it. I think forward yeah. tilt's really good. He should have that falling there. Yeah. Oh, I think he tried Great to condition dodge. him into the uh, the trunk so he'd roll on. No, see what he. Oh, that's oh, how we got, not gonna got do a stock it. last game, too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I saw that, actually. Fourth throw. I don't think she has any kill throws. Maybe up throw kills. Oh, scooperoni. Not yes. quite. Oh, 122 versus one. This is completely even. And up throw? Yeah, yep. she's yeah. light. So earlier, he definitely should up she's throw. She's light, yeah. Good games. Wow, he almost, uh, almost yeah. took that. But we yeah, this is Wave Kuma. What's up, Kuma? I love Kuma, dude. Kuma's the man. Kuma, why don't <laughs> I get a shout-out? Uh, you might have earlier. I don't think he did.